Let's shift to First Alert Weather. Bring Albert in, and uh, we have a lot going on this weekend, and the yes. weather looks fantastic. You know what's funny about us? We've been talking about this upcoming weekend since Monday. Yeah. Yeah, we don't waste any time getting right into it. You were just saying it. tomorrow's already Thursday. I know. The week's kind of going yeah, by fast a little bit, and we are ready for a little bit cooler and drier air after at least tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to turn up the heat and humidity just a bit. 60s in the morning. It'll feel nice in the morning. We'll make our way into the mid-80s in the afternoon, which is about average for this time of the year, and we'll also notice the humidity levels come up just a bit. Also, the forecast, so tomorrow, Tomorrow is a front. That's what's going to make for just a fantastic Friday and weekend. 70s Friday and Saturday, low 80s on Sunday. But the most important part of it, we're dry. We're looking at low humidity. And then we'll start to see the humidity build at least a bit as we head towards early next week with some rain chances of brown Tuesday, Wednesday, and even Thursday and Friday of next week. Now, we got some showers and Doppler radar up here towards the north in Wisconsin, moving into Michigan right now. This is a part of a front. All that moisture stays to the north of us, and it's this front that arrives tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. It'll come and dry, but that's what's going to reinforce a cool and dry air mass. 71 right now at Midway and also here, but you step outside the city. We have temperatures in the low 60s and notice the cow, but 60 degrees Aurora at 63. You're going to be in the 50s for tonight with a mostly clear sky. 70s now in Chicago, but we'll be in the low to mid 60s for overnight lows. Look at the 50s, mid to upper 50s across northwest Indiana into the Kankakee River Valley. Again, a little bit warmer for tomorrow. We were upper 70s today. We'll be mid 80s for tomorrow, a little bit more on the humid side and with some moisture moisture to work with a little bit more cloud cover in the sky, partly cloudy skies, but notice the winds. They are much, much lighter than today and even yesterday. So as far as swim risk goes at Lake Michigan, it was really bad the last two days. It's better for tomorrow back in that low category for risk of swimming 81 at the loop for tomorrow afternoon, 81 in Valparaiso. So we do have a little bit of a lake influence for tomorrow. Warmest spot though, midway at 85 degrees. We'll go 84 in Joliet, about 82 in Ottawa. Again, a touch a little bit on uh, the humid side for tomorrow and then with that front. The humidity levels drop in a big way tomorrow night and they stay down Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday starts to feel just a tad more humid on Tuesday, but no big deal. And then you'll notice the moisture starting to increase middle part of next week, and that's going to be a little bit of moisture for some showers to work with only about a 20% chance of rain at this point. So 77 on Saturday. How about Sunday? 80 degrees upper 70s though lakeside. What a great weekend with the air and water show with winds breezy at times, but lots of sunshine, low humidity and comfortable temperatures for this time of the year. Again, we'll start to increase the moisture in the atmosphere little by little next week. Hey, it generate a spot shower Monday, an isolated chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday. Some of the long range models want to make for a little bit better widespread opportunities to rain the latter part of next week. But between now and then, it's looking really nice. Sure does. Albert, thanks.